Yeah, recently released on Warner Brothers. It's called Back in the Day, the Best of Bootsy. We heard, ah, the name is Bootsy, the classic. Some Hollywood Squares and Bootsilla. If you people want the definitive Bootsy collection, that's it. It's called Back in the Day, the Best of Bootsy. Ah, the name is Bootsy, Bubba. The better the fuck you, my dear. And when I'm in Las Vegas, I listen to 91.5 FM. K-U-N-V, Baba. Las Vegas! Hit me! Bootsy, tell us about um, Praxis. Yeah, well, that was, um, that was uh, Laswell's idea as far as um, what he wanted to try to mix and match musics and, and uh, see what we came up with. And it was kind of done the same way we, we used to cut old Funkadelic stuff. We just come in the studio and um, not really knowing what you want to do and then um, um, Bill would uh, kind of direct, um, here's a tempo, you know, the drummer would start out with a tempo, and then, um, uh, what are you hearing, Bootsy? Okay, then I start playing, and then Bernie would join in, then Buckethead would uh, just start jamming. It was pretty much a, uh, uh, just a live jam. You know what, well, before we, we get too far into this, um, Transmutation, one of, one of Praxis's, the first one, Yeah. it was my top release, or one of them, of 1993. Wow. I mean, I mean this thing was hot. I mean, I loved it. Yeah. Tell well, me. we, we kind of, that was... um. Uh, really sporadic. It was really right off the top of the head. Oh, and, it, and that's what and that's what I loved about it. But plus, yeah. the music was so good. Tell me about Buckethead, man. This guy could jam. Oh, he's incredible, man. He's a shredder, man. He's serious. I mean, um, uh, I mean, and plus his attitude. I mean, you know, he's a whole. I mean, he's a machine, man. He's a guitar machine. Well, I mean, where'd you find this guy? I mean, I know first one day and you never hear of him, and the next thing you know, I mean, Buckethead. I want Buckethead. Well, you know, you know, I would say about six or seven years ago, he sent me a. Uh, a videotape and you know I didn't know what to make of it at first it was funny as heck I mean he had a bucket on his head <laughs> and you know and the video was like taken in his house looked like he took it himself oh, you know man. and and it was wild man and um next thing I know Laswell was talking about bucket here so I, I figured that I guess he had sent him a um, a videotape also so the next thing I know you know Bill had him uh cutting some stuff in the studio and um then we started doing stuff together and, and that's pretty much how we started you know mm. And um, one thing just kind of led to another, and, and now he got a record out um, that's coming out on, um, well, it came out on Sony in Japan. Yeah, it's, 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 hard, it's hard to find, too, I'll tell you. Yeah, yeah. And it's supposed to be released here in the States also. I don't have a date, but um, it, it's supposed to be uh, released here also. And it's funny, man, because I, I recorded his first record here in, uh, in the Bootsilla Rehab Studio, and that's re been released over in Japan. Uh, that was released about two, I would say about two years ago. Yeah, I, you know, I'd really love to get my hands on that stuff. I called Tower, and they had one of his imports, and it was like 40 bucks, and I'm like, oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm like, come on, bite well, me. Well, you know, let me, let me work on it, because um, I, I actually got one here. I could uh, probably just make you a copy of it. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. Yeah. yeah. You know, you, you guys did two practices, correct? You did um, Transmutation. Yeah. And, and then tell us about some of the personnel that were involved. Uh, it was um, Bernie Warrell, um, um, uh, Bambata, which is... Um, Baby Bam, which is um, uh, one of the guys from uh, Jungle Brothers. Okay. And uh, Torchhead, which was uh, like a DJ that does like like the scratching and stuff like that. Okay. He's from the Jungle Brothers. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Buckethead, myself, uh, Laswell, and that was pretty much. Uh, you had you had there. you had Brain on the first. Oh one. yeah, but I'm sorry, Brain. Brain was also there. Yeah. Yeah. The drummer. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I love the way you guys just pick up these pieces and put this stuff together, and it's really not like it's a band, but it's just a concept. Yeah. And yeah. it's really cool, man. Yeah. You know. Well, well like I said, Lazlo had a lot to do with with that um, that part of the idea because um, what what we were uh, basically doing was just coming there, just playing the stuff, you know, whatever we felt, and Lazlo kind of had this concept of kind of piecing it together and and uh, making it all work. Well, you know, I'd, I'd love to keep talking about Praxis, but I love the music even more. <laughs> oh, yeah, cool, cool. Hey, Let's play it, man. Let me do one thing. One thing I do want to say about you and all your associates, you, you, you guys are years ahead of your time. I, do you believe in UFOs and ETs? Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, we, we're definitely illegal aliens. We're here without uh, proper documents. And, yeah. Uh, you know, and proud of it, you know? You know, because I, I definitely know you guys are in contact with them. you got to be, because you guys have been years ahead of your time since the beginning of time, you well, know? Well, like I told you, you know, we're, we're transmitters and receivers, and uh, I definitely believe uh, we're on the receiving end right now, and, uh, you know, at some point then we uh, start transmitting. Well, I'm glad you're getting the frequencies you're getting, because I'm going to transmit them to the people. Here is All right. Praxis. Let's do it. 